reviewed the surveillance video footage from within the nightclub, and it shows Mr. Bonner participating in the mass beating of uh, Mr. Davis, uh, Dion Davis. And Mr. Bonner has been a well-documented member of the Mafia Street Gang, as documented by Macon PD's Gang Intelligence Unit. Okay, okay sir, do you have any questions? Oh, yes, Well, we <coughs> interviewed the employees of the nightclub okay. and other patrons. All right, did you uh, interview Kelvin Howard? Was the, uh, I did interview him, however, he was not present at the time. Okay. What about uh, uh, Gary Lester, who, who gave an eyewitness statement to the WMAZ? Yes, I did take a statement from Mr. Lester. Did, did he identify who, uh, who he said he saw uh, involved in this beating? Uh, Mr. Lester did not witness the fight. Uh, what he advised was that he witnessed somebody walking into a vehicle and retrieving a weapon from that vehicle, after which point he laid down on the floor and didn't see anything after that. And, and his statement to uh, WMAZ, did he, and I'm just asking to see if he told you the same thing, did he say that he saw someone go to a white vehicle to retrieve him? Yes. And did he give a description of that individual? He, no, he was not able to give a detailed description of that individual. He did not. No, he did not give a detailed description of that individual. But did he say the type of car that he saw the individual run to? Yes. What type of car was it? He said it was a, a white vehicle, possibly a Lincoln. Okay. All right, and uh, there's uh, word that there's a surveillance tape that captures this. Uh, have you seen the surveillance tape? I have viewed all of the surveillance in that bit, in that area. And, and from that surveillance tape, was, uh, you can, observe, can you observe Mr. Bonner? Participating in any, any uh, beating of Dion Davis? Yes. spoken to him on that specific issue at the moment. Uh, was he able to say who, who he saw shoot uh, Mr. Bryant? No, he, he did not see anybody shoot Mr. Bryant. Uh, and have you spoken with uh, the name Bonner in this case? No, I have not. And uh, the clothing that Mr. Bonner had on the night of this incident uh, were they tested for gunshot residue? The GBI does not test the, they will not test the clothing or, okay. or hands of somebody who has been shot. And Mr. Bonner did receive a gunshot wound in this incident. Right. Okay. And do, you, do you know where he was shot at? Uh, I believe once in the neck and once in the shoulder. Okay. All right, so at any point did you guys place some type of plastic material on his hand to get some type of test? I don't recall off the top of my head. And did you place any shell casing into evidence from this incident? There were numerous shell casings. Uh, what, what, what are some of the types of shell casings you retrieved? Uh, 45 caliber and 40 caliber primarily. All right. Were they inside the nightclub or outside in the parking lot? Both. Did you take uh, Ms. Petaway's vehicle into evidence? Yes. And was there any shell casings found inside the vehicle? No. Was it shot up? Yes. All right, and so based on, I guess this is a stupid question, but based on the amount of shell casings found, there was more than one gun involved. Correct. Uh, is Ms. Ms. Petaway's vehicle still in evidence? Correct. And what about, um, has other than participation of various mafia members, have any other members of any other making sure things been in 
interrogated in this matter? I'm not quite sure I understand your question, sir. Has, has any other gangs been implicated in this, this case other than mine? As suspects? No, sir. participating in a violent act, namely the assault on Mr. Davis. And I have an eyewitness who gave a statement saying that they saw Mr. Bonner pulling the trigger and shooting Mr. Jamonta Bland. Who was that eyewitness? I, Your Honor, I'd rather not give that witness's name for their own sake at this point. 